Let's talk about Docker networks a little bit. This Docker compose file, similar to volumes, creates a network and destroys one when we create or destroy our set of services, our set of containers here. This creates a network called AppNet and it uses the driver Bridge. Bridge is the default driver and it just makes a network that is local to Docker running in your computer. There are other networks that span multiple hosts as well. This one just spans a single host, that host being our Macintosh, our Windows computer, our Ubuntu server, whatever. So it is named a network called AppNet and it puts all containers inside of that AppNet. Specifically, it does that because we tell it to. So networks AppNet for DB, for Redis, for PHP, for Nginx, they're all inside of this one network. So let's check that out. We see I have my Docker Compose PS command here. My containers are still running. Let's do docker network ls to list out my networks. I just have to type that right. We can see we have the one called appnet created by docker compose here. It's a bridge one. It has an ID. That's about all we'll tell from here. Actually, we can do docker network inspect and I'll do it by name here and we get some more information. Now here it has each container inside of this network and the name of that container. So we can see all our containers have successfully made it in the network and they each have an IP address. So I'm actually gonna get into our PHP container and what I wanna see is that I can talk to my database container and my database container I know is at 172.19.02. So let's just copy that. So let's do docker exec dash IT and we're gonna run the PHP app underscore PHP underscore one container and I'm gonna run bash inside of it so that we can get inside of our PHP container. I can do php-v and see that it has PHP in it, which composer it has composer in it. We saw that in the first video when we used all of these. All right, so I can't ping, but I can install something that will let us uh, use the ping command. Let's install some utilities here. I'm gonna install DNS utils. Oop, I have to do apt-get update first, and we can try that again. And I'm also gonna install iputils ping, so we have the ping command. All right, let's try a few things. I'm gonna ping db and we get 127.19.02. I'll just control C to get out of that. So this is the IP address given to our database uh, container. Let's do dig db as well, see if that shows us the same thing. It will check the locally configured DNS server and we'll see that the answer for hostname db is also 172.19.02. Now this corresponds to what we saw when we did the inspection of that network. The one called db was 172.19.02. So our Docker Compose file creates a network called AppNet, and we put all of our containers inside of AppNet. If we get back into our container, we can dig db, or the name of any of our services, the name of any of our containers, and some DNS magic is all set up for us by Docker so that we can find the correct IP address for any host by the name there. So we don't have to worry about doing any kind of weird or a fancy configuration where we automatically update IP addresses or anything like that. Inside of our application.m file, we can just say connect to DB or connect to Redis, connect to any service we created, and it will automatically connect successfully. This is how we have Nginx talking to PHP as well. So if we go here and see our build files, which we'll cover in another video, Nginx has a default configuration. You should recognize this as an Nginx configuration. When we get a PHP request, it's passing it to FastCGI to our PHP container, which is just this host name, PHP, because in our Docker Compose file, we've named that container PHP, and since we're all inside of the app network, the Nginx container is able to resolve the network name PHP to the correct IP address of that container. Just like volumes, we can do docker network ls to see these. We can do docker network inspect to inspect specific networks, or we can even create them. So we can do docker network create. I'll just show you the help menu for that. We can see create options network name, and you can set other parameters for it as well.